Hello all, welcome to AuraTrainings.com. In this Oracle database programming session, we'll discuss about very important clause, pivot clause. Let us get into the agenda. We'll using like in this session, we'll try to understand about how we can create queries using a pivot pivot clause. Okay, let's get to the next slide. So let us understand what is pivot as well as unpivot. But anyways, in this session, we'll be concentrating. We'll concentrate only on the pivot. So pivot means it converts the content or the rows, which are, it converts the rows into columns. Unpivot is nothing but an opposite of it. So it will convert the rows into columns. That's called pivot. And other one, unpivot, which converts the columns into rows. That's called unpivot. Okay. So as you know that, like whenever you want to learn programming, programming is always learned easily through the examples. Okay. So let us get into the syntax and then we see five samples of pivot. Okay. By that, you know, we should be able to understand the pivot. Let's get into the next slide. So let us understand the syntax of the program, syntax of the pivot class. So we know that like, a, so what is aggregate function? What is n class as well as what is subquery, right? So I'm assuming that we should be aware of these particular functionality before you can work on the pivot. Okay. Now here, if you observe, the left side syntax what we, what we mentioned is like this is a normal query whatever you write generally like a select star from so but here we have used a, a subquery concept select star from like we just mentioned a subquery because we mentioned the column one column two from a table with a, a number of with a set of condition and then we applied a pivot clause okay and here if you observe observe pivot clause after that the pivot clause here if you observe in the pivot clause there are three important things one is aggregate function other one is for other one is in clause. So generally, like uh, we know what is aggregate function, like uh, which performs a summation or a count or average, min, max. These are all called aggregate function, which you can also call them as group function or multi-row function. So in the aggregate function, what what is the expectation is that you have to pass a column. This now here, if you observe this column two should be from the above query. Okay, it can be any column, but in our example, we just consider a column two, which should be available in the above table, and after that. So you're, you're applying aggregate function on a column two, okay? Then you search for this particular column two in a, a particular set of values. Nothing but let us say you have a department table and you want to search this availability of this particular column two or a department value in this set of values, okay? And then or subquery. So as of now, like I tried with the subquery, it is not working. So you can ignore the subquery functionality, but this is working perfectly. Aggregate function, you can apply a sum count, min, max, whatever it is for count uh, for this particular column in this particular expression. So here, if you observe, like as per the information here, so aggregate function, we know what it is. In clause, nothing but a set of values, okay? And um, what, what exactly it will do? A list of values for column two to pivot into heading. So whatever you mentioned here, right? So whatever the expression which you mentioned, this will become heading for your column when you run the pivot query, okay? And the value will come from the aggregate function, okay? So value comes from the aggregate function and the column heading will come from the aggregate aggregate uh, column 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 names column name comes from this particular in clause what are the column value we mentioned and the value comes from the aggregate function okay so this is high level high level syntax of the pivot but we'll see the samples then you know we can easily understand more about this one okay let us get in the first example okay so left side i have written an example without using pivot right side i have written an example with using pivot okay see don't try to compare that in like what is advantage here at this point of time we don't want to understand what is advantage we just want to understand how we can use pivot okay now on the left side what i'm what i have done is the functionality the functionality what i want to achieve is i just want to display the number of employees in each particular department okay i'm using the emp table I just want to have the functionality to display the number of employees in each department. Okay. So before discussing it about this sample, let us write few queries, how we generally try to achieve on achieve, you know, like a count. So this is the EMP table. Now the requirement was to find out the number of employees in each department. So what we generally write is department number followed by count of star. And then we require a group by because without having a group by, I cannot get the department count. Okay. But now this is providing the information in the in the set of rows fashion. Okay, I don't want, I don't want to have four rows. I just require one row with all the information in a column fashion. That is what by what we are trying to achieve. Okay, so one way to turn this particular set of values using a first option, like using the old logic, 
or a, you know, like without using pivot logic. So what I can do is I'll just copy this query. Now here, if you observe what we have done here is we are just simply, so I'm not using any group by, okay. I'm reading each by each record. I'm reading the set of records. Okay. For each particular record, I'm performing a count. Okay. I'm performing a count wherever it matches department, a specific department. If it matches the count, the count will be applied on that. If it doesn't match it, it will not apply the count. Okay. So now here, if you observe, just see the result of this one. Now here, if you see, I got the result like this, right? For department 10, the count is nine. For department 20, we got four and respectively, we got five. So what happens here? Like once we can also let us say before, maybe I can just see this one. First of all, count of star from EMP. Now what is happening? For the total set of records, the count got applied. For the total set of record, count of count got applied. So in this case, what will happen is the count will get performed only on the records. The count will get performed only in the records which it is matching this condition. If department is equal to 10, only this department underscore 10 column will have the values of those particular count which are matching with the department 10, respectively 20 and 30. Okay, so this is how you can apply count using the normal and using without using any pivot class let us see how we can achieve using a pivot class okay so i'll just use this one now what i have done the only difference here if you observe let us say till this part so till this part what i'm doing i'm simply getting the data from the dpt table emp table right can you see what we are getting we're simply getting we're simply getting the department number of all the employees okay after that what we have done we have used a pivot clause and then for count of star for count of star for department in 10 20 30 40 even i mentioned department number 40 nothing but so what will happen is wherever like uh, what we are doing is we, we want to perform this aggregate function on the department numbers of any of these departments and also it will cal it has to cal it has to keep the count separately for each department here if you observe once i execute this function once i execute this qu total query can you see this column value here, what are the value? It was getting concatenated with the column alias, which I mentioned for the count of star. Let us say if I remove this one, what will happen is the column alias will be 10, 20, 30, 40. Just see this. Can you see 10, 20, 30, 40? Let us say if you keep this one, what will happen is this column value, whatever you mentioned in the in clause will get concatenated with the this column alias, which you mentioned for the count of star. This is quite appropriate way. 10 department, 10 department, uh count 20 department count respectively like this okay now what we have done the same query and we just mentioned pivot the pivot clause followed by mention the aggregate function mention the column alias for your count of star and mention the column name for department in, for the department in 10 comma 20 comma 30 comma 40. so as of now we are hard coding the in class okay and now so this is all about the example one Okay, so can you also achieve the similar functionality using the pivot and Excel sheet? Yes, we can achieve that. So let us see that. So I have my data. I just got extract from the EMP table. Now what I'll do is I'll just click on insert. Okay, I'll just click on insert pivot table. Before that better use always select the data and then perform pivot. Okay, I selected the data, click on insert pivot table and now I'll select a new worksheet. Okay, click on okay. Now what I want to do in the column, I want to have the department number, okay? And also, what is the value I want? I just want the count. I just want count, okay? Can you see? 945, we got this one. Okay, 945. The same functionality we are achieving through the SQL. So let us get to the next sample. Okay. So in this particular sample, what we are trying to do is we just added one more column in the select query. So here, if you observe the old logic, like without using pivot logic, what I have done is I just want to get what is the requirement here is for each job, for each job in each department, what is the count of an employee? Let us say, you know, like uh, in the organization, the HR department want to find out for a given job, for a given job, how many departments are there nothing but for a given job in a given department how many employees are there it's kind of you know like a cross tabular functionality right like in analyst for job analyst for department 10 i have zero employees similarly for job analyst for department 20 i have only two so maybe like uh, the hr department 
what they do is they'll calculate okay so here if you observe for salesman i have four employees considering the total departments but in the department 10 and 20 i don't have any employees maybe in the future they can allocate some more employees by seeing this kind of chart right so here if you observe we know that data which is stored in the emp table is in a, like a row, row, row wise fashion but here if you observe the analysis from the department emp table it's totally different right so we have used appropriate group by logic and count logic to represent the data in a matrix format or a cross tab format okay now the same thing i can achieve in an easier fashion using the pivot clause okay what i have done here is the same thing like with job details as select job i just mentioned two columns here and then in the pivot what i have done for count of star for department in 10 20 30 40 that's it right so now let us try to execute this functionality now so i'll just copy this query okay now what it what is what it is displaying for each particular job it is displaying the data let us say if you don't mention job we know that what will happen right let us if you don't mention job we'll just get data like this isn't it we don't mention job we'll simply get data like this because the data was getting grouped on the department number the data was getting grouped on the department number okay now if i mention job what will happen if you mention job now the data which is grouped on the department number will get applied appropriately for each job for each job it will perform a grouping so now for each clerk for each clerk in a particular department it will get the count okay so this is what happens in the using a pivot if you have an extra column similarly can we get the same functionality in the pie in the excel sheet yes what i can do is now as of now we just mentioned only department and dep department information in the column right in the row i have not mentioned any label so now this time what i'll do is i'll just drop the job label in the row column now can you see for each job for each department number this is my count okay can you see for analyst job for department 10 i don't have any employees for analyst job for department 20 i have two employees can you see for analyst job department 20 i have two employees so this is how we can apply a pivot function if you have an extra column this is this is this will be the result okay now let us try the next example so in the next example what we are trying to achieve is we just mentioned we just mentioned a different column alias for these particular things so now here if you observe like instead of displaying 10 20 like that what i can do is i can just mention with a different name here d10 d20 similarly d30 like this i can mention okay this is just an alias functionality and if at all if you mention some more thing what will happen this will get up appended d10 underscore count can you see d10 underscore count d20 underscore count this is what happen when you mention the alias appropriately okay the first one is your value and the next one is the alias let us get to the next sample see so this particular sample what we are trying to do is yeah so yeah coming to the fourth sample so i i was to i just told you that you know like uh, in the end like uh, we have hard coded the values in the end clause okay we have hard coded the values in the end clause and we don't have a functionality even as per the syntax it mentioned the software but that it was that was not working the other solution for this particular thing is let us say if you don't want to hard code you know like uh, now as of now i hard coded the department 10 20 30 40 let us say in the future if i add few more few more departments what will happen to this query this will not work i mean it will work but it will exclude the values which you now mention nothing but you know your, your result will be wrong nothing but you are simply ignoring some values which are very really important so that is to overcome this particular issue like uh, we just got one more functionality called using xml serialize we can achieve the functionality okay now here if you observe it doesn't need to mention any of the department number it doesn't need to mention any of the department number just simply copy the query now in, in our case so here if you observe what i have done is so till this part it is just simply same like uh, for department job count get the get the information like uh, i just want to display two columns department number job from the mp and then what we have done is here just observe this functionality this functionality is also same instead of mentioning the department number details we just mention any clause okay we just mention the department instead of mentioning the department number values we just mention any clause and here if you observe yeah so after the job okay mention the xml serialize xml serialize 
and mention the department number department number underscore excel like whatever the value which you have here whatever yeah this is my xml document name right xml document name and we are creating xml document for this department number xml just execute this one and see here okay so this pivot you know, whatever the column name or a value right so here if you observe let me copy this one once so then we can get some information from here one minute okay so here if you observe column name okay i have two elements one is department number other one is department count okay department number and department underscore count so department number depart dpt underscore count dpt underscore count is this one and dpt envo is this one right dpt envo dpt underscore c cnt okay and we just mentioned the an xml document name here okay so this is how we can achieve a dynamic set of values without mentioning any hard coded values okay but if you if at all let us say you know like uh, if at all if you want to extract the values then you have to use the appropriate xml functionality in the oracle to get the values okay now coming to the last one like in this one what we want to do is we just want to apply multiple aggregate function we just want to apply multiple aggregate function so in this sample here if you observe let us say i want to get for a given job in a given job how many employees are there and how much salary we are paying what we want to do is we just want to find out how many employees are there for a particular job in a particular department and also how much salary is paid for that particular job as well as department combination okay so what we have done it is similar to the earlier queries only thing is we just applied one more one more aggregate function just see this one with job details like we applied as we added a salary column here and then select start from job department just try to execute this query only first of all and can you see we are getting only these three columns like we i have around 20 records in my emp table and then i applied a pivot clause like a count of star count department sum of salary sum of salary for department number into in these particular four departments okay now what i am getting so here if you observe this 10 this 10 like a uh, how many dynamic dynamic columns we got so here here if you observe this particular column job okay this particular job we just got here for whichever columns you applied aggregate function they will not be displayed here for whichever columns you applied a aggregate function that will not be displayed here only job was displayed and remaining we have applied the aggregate function and what is happening here for each department number you will be seeing two column values one is for the purpose of count other is for the purpose of sum right this is for the count of department this is sum of salary this is also similarly count sum count sum that thing but how many we are seeing for each particular department we are seeing two columns so overall we have seen eight dynamic columns nothing but this four into number of aggregate function four in, i mean the number of values or the number of expression in the in the for clause into the number of aggregate function that's how you'll get that that num that like that number of dynamic columns you'll get when you are using a this particular multiple aggregate function okay so this all about you know like uh, pivot clause if at all if you want to find out more sample or if you want to have a different data model you can try to just check out this reference which is having all the information which i taught in this particular session okay thank you